famous lawman Wyatt Earp was once quoted as saying, fast is fine, but accuracy is everything. Of course, he was referring to his Buntling Special 45 caliber revolver with a 12-inch barrel that was presumably difficult to quickly draw from a holster. The same could be said about aphid management in desert quotas crops. There are certainly fast-acting insecticides available to control aphids, but accuracy in aphid identification is extremely important for cost-effective management. With the windy weather we've been experiencing lately, it's no surprise that we're seeing an increase in winged aphids showing up on desert produce crops. A quick glance at the recent Aerowide Insect Trapping Network data shows that winged aphid counts found on sticky traps have increased dramatically in some locations in the Yuma and Gila valleys. Not all the aphids found on traps could be identified, but several were common species such as green peach and cabbage aphids. This is where the accuracy part comes in. Just because you are quick to find a few winged aphids on products doesn't mean that these species are important to leafy vegetable and cold crops. As discussed in previous updates, most of the important aphid species you find on local products crops do not over summer here, but rather migrate into our cropping system during the late fall. Once the aphids reach our desert valleys, they typically move from crop to crop until they'll find a suitable host to feed and colonize on. It is not uncommon to find winged aphids on lettuce or broccoli that do not colonize on the crop. An example of these would be cabbage aphid, alates, which colonize on cold crops but not lettuce, spinach, or celery. Other examples would include aphids that colonize small grains or alfalfa. Because this aphid species will not colonize produce crops, it is important to be able to distinguish them from the aphids that do colonize and require management to prevent problems at harvest. Proper aphid identification can also influence your choice of insecticide. But more on that on the next update. Also, we have had reports of small colonies of copy aphids showing up on frame leaves and lettuce. Not to worry, according to Palombo, experience has shown that although small copy aphid colonies may be found on lettuce, the populations rarely increase in lettuce crop. So, proper aphid identification can save PCA time and money and prevent unnecessary insecticide applications. If you find an unusual aphid in your produce, don't hesitate to drop it by the Ag Center and we'll get it identified for you. If you want to be fast and accurate, you might use the attached publication aphid identification in desert produce crops. Just click on it in our publication. That may help you in identifying winged and wingless aphids important in leafy vegetables and cold crops. And remember, well, let Palumbo say that. Remember, when in doubt, scout.